All right, let's bring in meteorologist Christy Gordon now with a look at that weather forecast. As we've said many times, we need the rain, Christy. <laughs> we sure got it today, Sophie. Yes, thanks so much. We have a rainfall warning in place for the North Shore Mountains, Northeast Metro Vancouver. So these areas here by tomorrow morning, early in the morning, we're expecting about 50 millimeters of rain, but substantial rain all across the region. For Metro Vancouver proper, it's more like 30 millimeters. And just to give you perspective, so far for this entire month, we've had less than 10 millimeters all month long. And today we could sort of triple that with the North Shore getting 50 millimeters meters of rain. So substantial indeed. Now overnight tonight, we're still watching this cold front make its way across. Heavy rain at times. I wouldn't rule out a passing thunderstorm as well. Much cooler air mass in behind that and that has prompted Environment Canada to again issue a special weather statement for all the mountain passes across southern BC. So the Coquihalla, Allison Pass, a Connector as well as Kootenai Pass. Snow tonight, tomorrow morning as that cold front moves across and those freezing levels drop to in some areas as low as 1200 meters. Now we are expecting the potential for snow even over lower elevations in areas like Williams Lake tomorrow morning. So don't be surprised if you see a little bit of that. But by tomorrow afternoon, conditions do begin to ease off. And for Metro Vancouver, we're really expecting mostly dry days, just a chance of showers through the Fraser Valley. This is where the majority of the activity will be tomorrow with periods of rain in the interior and a risk of thunderstorms. But a clearing trend across Vancouver Island, lingering cloud cover for Metro Vancouver, but dry. Just that chance of showers out through the Fraser Valley. So not bad over the next couple of days, Sophie, but very wet still overnight tonight. And then it clears out early tomorrow morning. The next bout of rainfall, more significant rain is expected into our Friday. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Christy. Let's bring in uh, Christy Gordon once again with a look at our weather forecast. Uh, windy out there, but also wet, Christy. Oh my goodness, was it ever wet today. Yeah, I just want to give everyone a quick reminder about these winds we talked about earlier. This is going to be a northwest flow in behind it late this evening, overnight. We do have the potential for some power outages. This is not warning criteria, but with the direction and the potential that we're getting close to warning criteria, we certainly could see some power outages and we want everyone to just be aware. Into tomorrow morning, maybe some impact on the ferries, so check with them before you head out. As Sophie mentioned, yeah, it was wet today. We have rainfall warnings in place for the north shore and the northeastern portions of the of metro vancouver so we're talking about 50 millimeters for those regions but all areas saw wet weather as you well know so in metro vancouver the potential is still there for 30 millimeters by early tomorrow morning to give you perspective so far this month of may we've had less than 10 millimeters all month long and we could see 30 in just that 24 hour period so this is a substantially wet day that's for sure and it's because of this cold front wet weather was seen across much of the province and in the Fort Nelson region, which is good, but really the bulk of it was across the south coast. And tonight, with the cold front moving across, the freezing levels are going to drop. We have a chance of snow in the Coquihalla Connector, Allison Pass, and Kootenai Pass tonight. Five centimeter possible overnight tonight. We could even see a little bit of wet snow in areas like Williams Lake, where the freezing level is getting very close to the valley bottom. But cold tonight. Tomorrow, though, drier conditions on the way for all areas for the most part, except for the southern portions of the province in the interior so rain on and off and a risk of thunderstorms for you. Clearing trend though for Vancouver Island, we are expecting lingering cloud for Metro Vancouver. Slight chance of an early morning shower, but otherwise dry conditions tomorrow, but we'll see some cloud cover and we'll see some breaks of blue sky for the next couple of days. The next best chance for rainfall will be on Friday uh, for the next couple of days. But again, tonight, very wet and windy overnight and a slight chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm, sorry, thunderstorm overnight tonight. All right, tonight's Central Windows weather window is coming to you from uh, Braden, Bradian, which is near Braylorn, just south of the Gold River uh, area. So this is a, a town that is no longer in use, Sophie, as you can see. It is has been abandoned, but it is a beautiful shot nonetheless. Ashley, thanks for sharing that photo. Again, that's just south of the Braylorn area in the Chilcotin region. All right, thanks very much, Christy. The